Do I really need to know my food transit time? Does it really make a difference with my gut health and immune system? And when I reply, I get very surprised looks. Hi, I'm Dr. Ina at Digestive Reset, and I'm here weekly to answer all your burning questions and give you my tips about digestive and hormone health so your immune system gets in great shape. What is food transit time? It's the time that takes for ingested food to travel through our gut. This time also affects the amount of harmful degradation products, bacteria and toxins produced along the way. This means that transit time is a key factor in healthy digestive system. How are we not paying attention to it? There's a study from a National Food Institute Technical University in Denmark, which has been published in the renowned journal Nature Microbiology, and this is what they say. Food has to travel through eight meters of intestine from the time it enters the mouth of an adult pers person until it comes out the other end. And recent studies focused ma mainly on the influence of bacterial composition of the gut on the health of people's digestive system. This study measured the products of bacterial activity in the urine after following food's transit time through the colon. The effects of food transit time? What it shows is that intestinal bacteria prefers to digest dietary carbohydrates, but when these are depleted, the bacteria starts to break down other nutrients such as proteins. Researchers have previously absorbed the correlation between some of the bacterial protein degradation products that are produced in the colon and the development of very serious diseases, including colorectal cancer, chronic renal disease, and autism. To make it short, their study shows that the longer the food takes to pass the colon, the more harmful bacterial breakdown products are produced. And conversely, when the transit time is shorter, a higher amount of the harmful substances are produced in the, when the colon renews its inner surface, which is really a good sign of healthy intestinal wall. What we now commonly know is that the healthier gut has most diverse gut microbiome. But after the study, we also know that the gut is the most healthy when there is long transit time. Before we would say that makes no sense. They now believe that a rich, rich bacterial composition in the gut is not necessary synonymous with healthy digestive system if it's indication that food takes a long time to travel through the colon, which makes it even more important to test gut microbiome. How can you measure your transit time at home? Super simple. You can do that simply by eating a moderate serving of cooked beets or taking four activated charcoal capsules and absorbing their appearance in the other end, in your stool. The time between when you ingested the beets or the charcoal to the time that it first appears in your stool and, and then that's your, yeah, that's your colon transit time. People living in rural African or Asian societies have a typical colon transit time between 12 to 24 hours. In our culture, the average colon transit time transmit to way longer people report to me 48 hours, 96 hours. If a long transit time is found, it indicates suboptimal colon health. If a very rapid transit time is found, it may indicate poor absorption and assimilation of nutrients, which is common in Crohn's and colitis patients. Both conditions need correction before serious chronic conditions arrive. Again, this was Dr. Ina with you at Digestive Reset. I hope this was very helpful. If you have any questions, Ina at digestereset.com. Also sign up for this YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.